Hi, I'm Aaron from Bikesale.com, and I'm here to talk to you about the super exciting new Pivot Mach 6 Carbon. This is the all-new enduro, all-mountain, trail, uh, carbon dream bike from Pivot. It's been over two years in development, and they're very proud of it, and we are super excited about it. It's been garnering all sorts of rave reviews and Bike of the Year awards, and it's really easy to understand why once you ride one. Um, there's a lot to talk about, so I guess let's just start at the back. Um, like most pivots, it has that uh, 12 by 142 rear axle tying everything together at the back here to keep it nice and stiff. Um, and then moving forward, you notice this new arrangement for the DW Link suspension right here. This black piece right here is a clevis that drives the rear shock and it runs on bearings at the back of it rather than bushings. And what that does is it moves the shock in an almost perfectly straight line so there's almost no rotation at this front bushing point. Um, so there's almost no breakaway friction at all. It's a very, very supple right off the top of the stroke. And that actually means that it's also more supple and uh, quick to change direction mid-stroke when it's actually being used. So you can actually run a little bit less uh, rebound damping um, because it is a lighter uh, breakaway force for the shock to be overcoming as it changes directions while you ride. The shock is the new Fox Float X, um, which is awesome. There's not a lot to say about it, except that it just works way, way better than last year's float stuff, um, and it's a great shock. Um, the whole clevis arrangement here actually really, really stiffens up the rear end as well, and it's a little hard to see, but that lower uh, pivot there is as short as it can possibly be, so there's really no deflection down there at all. It's an incredibly stiff chassis overall when you put everything all together. You also have ISCG chain, uh, chain guide mounts down there, so if you want to do a one-by drivetrain on like an enduro race bike, it's easy to set up. You have a huge down tube here that's got some carbon armor on it. Um, it's really, really stiff. You notice right here is the uh, internal routing for the dropper post, so you have no cables exposed anymore. It's very slick. And then you have the tapered head tube with an inch and a half lower bearing there. The angles on this bike have a 66 degree head angle on most of the sizes um, and a chainstay that's right around 17 inches. It's very short for a 650B wheeled bike, um, but not too short. And likewise, the head angle is slack, but not too slack. Um, because you don't want to compromise the bike's ability to go up the hills, but you want it to be able to go down them super, super fast. And I would say that it does. It's a great riding bike. Um, we're all very excited about it, and the only real way to uh, realize how awesome it is is to ride one for yourself. So if you have any other questions, you can give us a call or check us out at bikesale.com.